hi guys welcome back to my channel so today guys i'm going to be showing you um this dress that someone sent to me uh on instagram so guys this is going to be a very quick tutorial and i'm just going to be showing the illustration so um, um the first thing you're going to do this this time might might take up to maybe let's say because of the sleeve i would say two and a half yards right so the first thing you're going to do is just to go ahead and fold your fabric into two if you want you can give your zip at the back right but for this particular one i'm not going to be giving it any zip at the back instead it's just going to have a button because it's not really a fitted dress it's just fitted at the bust but the lower parts has that ruching and it doesn't it's, it's not that fitted so all you have to do is just to cut the front and the back together so as you can see i folded my fabric into two and then i'm going to fold it again into four and you see everything is equal but normally when you're cutting this type of fabric uh, you might want to put like a zipper allowance at the center back here but i'm just cutting everything once so the first thing you're going to do is just to go ahead now make sure that the width that you folded can fit in your heat measurement divided by four plus at least one inch right one inch of seam allowance so once you've done that you're going to go up to your um your shoulder insert your shoulder measurement like you're drawing in basic bodies right shoulder divided by two you mark that come down here mark your one inch of shoulder slope insert your armhole divided by two mark it connect it all the way insert your armhole right and then you're going to come in here put in your bust measurement divided by four so let's say your bust is 40 divided by four is 10 and then your one inch of sewing it you come down again mark your shoulder to your waist which is let's say 17 you come again here insert your waist measurement divided by four so let's say your waist divided by four your waist is 32 divided by four is eight you mark that add one inch of seam allowance guys this is where um it gets tricky if you want if you feel like let's say your waist measurement is so deep that it comes like your waist is so small that it's deeper than it's a lot deeper than the, the bust like let's say your waist now if you mark it is going to go in here and then your hip is still going to go out it's better to add at least one more inch to it like apart from the seam allowance add more like one more inch of um is just to bring it out a little so that the cutting of the like the deep this part here will not go in so deep is what i'm trying to say right so that this curve here will not be so deep because this dress is almost as if like from the waist is a little bit free so you might want to do one inch of seam allowance and then just extra one inch just to bring out the measurement out you will still rush it so it will matter so then the next thing you're going to do is to go ahead from your waist your shoulder to your waist which we've marked your shoulder to your hip is the next line now you mark that and then on this line now you're going to insert your hip measurement divided by four so let's say your hip is um 44 divided by four is 11 you mark that and then add your one inch of seam allowance here right but on this hip line you can do extra to 0.25 here like just to make, make make it free but if you want you can just stick to your hip measurements here or you can do like one inch and then maybe plus half an inch because you're going to be rushing it you want it to be free going up and down your hip so don't don't make uh, or when you're taking the measurement don't make it too tight on your hip so that this because this the whole point of rushing is so that you can when you drag that um, rope at the side it pulls it up but if it's too tight on the hip it will not go up and it's not rush better so if you want divide your hip measurement let's say now my hip is um 44 divided by 4 is um 11 you can go ahead add one inch of sewing and then extra half an inch half an inch just for that to get that free um effect right and then once you finish that you can measure for this particular dress i would say go to your knee that's your shoulder to your knee is what you're going to use here but this type of dress you can even make it in form of a long one where you go down to your ankle i think you can also make that but for this particular one on the thumbnail the person sent me is just up to the knee so that when you rush it it will go up to your thigh right so you're going you're going to mark down to the knee so let's say your shoulder to your your knee is 40 and then you're going to take that exam measurement that you had on your hip that's what you're going to bring down here because normally on a pencil dress you're taking a little but here a, the exact measurement is what you're bringing down here so let's say that's 12.5 i'm going to bring it down connect it connect from the waist to the hip connect from the this point to this point guys this one inch of seam allowance we've been doing will still come in handy because this one inch is what will help us do the ruching on the side so guys once you're done the neckline depends on you just come up here mark your three inches of basic neckline connect the shoulder slope do half an inch for the back neckline 
one inch for the um maybe four inches or five inches for the front neckline go ahead and cut it out cut this one cut here all the way to the armhole cut from here and then you cut out your basic bodies this is basically the whole concept of this um dress so once you've cut this out now we'll go ahead and also cut our sleeve so guys once you've done once you've cut out all that, that i just said it was like this right you've cut out everything for the you're going to separate it because everything is equal remember you're going to separate it take one out and then one is going to be the front panel the one that is the front panel is the one you're going to cut the neckline to be deeper right so now we've cut out one to be deeper and then the other one at the back you're just going to split it open guys if you want you can still just make it as if you're trying to add a zipper at the back right and then when you come up here let's say you add extra like one inch for one of them and then when you come up here you just use that one inch as the fold for the neckline right you just fold it away and then just put a button at the top it depends on you what you want to do but if you want you can just still do this way and then use another fabric as a facing for it and turn it over we'll still get to that point so now that we have this pattern all you have to do is open it up this way Maybe this is the back, this is the front because of the neckline here. For the back, you're going to put a fabric. So guys, you're going to just cut out something that looks like this, a square fabric that will go down at least two inches below where, wherever your slit. On a, on, a, on, on a human size, this slit might be about six inches. So you, that means this pattern that you have here might be like four inches of width and then like um, eight inches length. And then you place it here. Sew this V neckline up and then turn it over. This will help you just turn it over this will help you give it the finishing that it needs and then you're going to take your top and join it shoulder to shoulder like this join the shoulder and the shoulder together and then guys so guys you see what i was trying to explain before once you join this here you join it to this here you're going to take your scissors and slit it open and then once that is done this is for the back panel right you're going to tuck it in and then once you tuck it in this way, you see you've gotten a clean finish for this. And then you just sew it down all the way like this. So this is going to be the back. And then once that is done, you're going to join it shoulder to shoulder this way. And then use bias to run the neckline all the way around. And then once you've done that, we're going to join the side and then... So guys, you see this is the back of the dress. You see the neck back, the back of the uh, dress is done. And then this is the front here so i just closed up one side so i can use that side to show you guys so guys once you join the shoulder you've done the back neckline the first thing you have to do is to fold the edge of your clothes fold this edge because you are going to be using your side seam once you close this side seam you need to move the two of them like to go separate ways like this because this string is going to be coming in here right so you need to make sure that you've already folded the edge imagine if i've not folded this edge now and then i left it straight right i can't fold it back again because that way there will not be any loop for my for my strap so you need to make sure you've already folded it right and then you've gone this way you're going to now turn this this way and then take this one use your um use this pin like this and then you're going to pass it through one side you're going to pass it through this second side this is just my that one inch of seam allowance of the side if i turn it around you see this is just that one inch of seam allowance that we use for the side is what we are actually using now to make form the casing and you as you can see i stopped at the waist so you're going to make sure you fold that one inch of seam allowance getting to the waist this part here is the waist the waist of the the shoulder to the waist once you get to that shoulder to the waist you stop and then you're going to now double stitch this strap so you double stitch it so you see i'm pulling on this strap now but it can't come out because it's already stitched at this waist part because that's where you want if you want you can go one inch above your waist or you can stick to the waist so that when you pull this up you see it's going to the ruching is going to come all the way to the waist right so you're going to have four strings two for each side like two for each side one one inch of this this side and then you're going to sew this one again facing this side put the string again and then on this other side you're going to also close it up fold each one away right fold each one away and do two strings on this side also and then you're going to use it to drag it so that you can get that ruching on the side i hope this makes sense so guys after that the sleeve depends on you the type of sleeve you want to use it depends on you and then you're also going to make something once you finish using bias to run through this neckline you're going to make a loop that looks like this something that looks like this 
so attach it on one side and then take a button let's say this is the button put it on this side so you can pass it in between this like this and hold it down so that's going to be what your, your the neckline of this is going to be guys for the sleeve it depends on you what sleeve you want to use for the sleeve it depends on you the method you want this one on this on the thumbnail is just a basic sleeve that you're going to cut out and then after cutting that basic sleeve you're going to the next step for it is just to the um so you're going to cut a basic sleeve this is a long sleeve right you see from your shoulder to the cap length four inches your elbow length and then the full length of the sleeve this is what a long sleeve would normally look like right so there are two sleeves you can add to this you can just do a basic long sleeve and then use the slashing method to get like a bishop sleeve right and then use that one or you can just use a normal sleeve right and then cut it off at the elbow or just before the elbow which is the one on the thumbnail and then you're going to give it a gather right give it a gather from that is up to the length from here so you can do a basic sleeve and then you use a gather that will complete it from here to the end but instead getting to the cuff you remember you still need like the cuff of that sleeve right to complete it but instead of um you can use the complete length of whatever you have left and then add in the cuff because when you put in the cuff it will pull it up so that you have that flow um that flay because remember when you're cutting a puffy sleeve you still need to add to the length so it will not even matter if you just cut out a basic sleeve that is up to your before your elbow maybe one inch before your elbow like this one this shorter one now and then you add let's say whatever that is left let's say maybe um i don't know 12 inches or so of fabric use it together around this round the opening of your this part just use it together it add the fabric together this part of it and then at the end you're still adding a cuff to to it but you what i'm trying to explain here is that you still you can still use the length of the full whatever that it, is remaining to complete your sleeve and then still add a cuff to it it will not matter because the whole point of puffy sleeve is to have that puffiness at the length and the only way you get that puffiness at the length is if you increase the length that's the only way you can get that puffiness so even if you use this full length you can still put in that cuff and it will still balance out and give you that puffiness at this whole side of your your sleeve i hope that makes sense so the one i was saying about the slash sleeve is basically something like this just like a bishop sleeve i, I will link tutorial to all these things and then all you have to do is just to cut this out almost you're, like you're getting to the top sorry you're not supposed to get to the point top but just cut it this way or you can use like a trumpet sleeve and then add a cuff to the end if this particular one is hard for you you can use a trumpet sleeve and then add the cuff to the end right so basically i'm going to link how to make a bishop sleeve a trumpet sleeve all of them any sleeve that works better for you you can use that you you just slash it this way and then cut it on a fabric right cut it on a fabric when you cut it on a fabric then you add your cuff to it so that's basically this particular method here so guys with this said now let me just explain how you're going to so i would assume you've cut out the sleeve and you've put it in you close up this side using that one inch of seam allowance so once you've done that also make strings right strings that are long enough from your waist that will go from your waist to the end of your dress and still have at least let's say um let's say like maybe 10 inches left right you make string like string that will look like this strings using the particular fabric you're working with right and then you close up the side once you come back i'll show you guys how you're going to now use that to um attach put it into into the sides and complete the dress that one on the thumbnail basically is a sleeve that they they cut a basic sleeve from the shoulder to the almost before the elbow and then they attached a ruffle to it right attach a ruffle to it and then add a band at the end like a band like a cuff to the end or you can just make a straight sleeve just cut your basic sleeve a basic long sleeve but instead don't don't um don't shape it at the, just keep it straight all the way to the end using the armhole keep it straight all the way to the end pass elastic to the end or just use a cuff at the end it depends on you the type of sleeve you want to use but i think the person that sent me this tutorial on instagram actually just wanted to see how to make the body of the dress and this is a very easy dress you can make you can use any you can use short sleeve you can use uh, exaggerated puffy sleeve and that's basically it
I hope I explained this uh, well. And thank you guys so much for your time. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.